So Bud Light decides to hire Dylan Mulvaney as their brand ambassador for their uh, beer. And it's funny because I'm seeing a lot of people say, like, you don't know who your customers are and all that. People are arguing with me. Let me just state first and foremost, the stupidest thing I think Budweiser could do is hire someone like Dylan Mulvaney. I think Dylan Mulvaney is evil. Um, I think Dylan Mulvaney is not trans. I think Dylan Mulvaney is a narcissistic sociopath who is pretending to be trans because it got them 10 million followers on social media. I think this is evidenced by the career path and the histrionic personality, uh, um, the behaviors seen on camera, notably the Price is Right video, where Dylan Mulvaney, upon, I guess, winning something, goes on a three minute weird performance screaming and making this crazy face at the camera. of just like, ah, it's crazy. I think Dylan Mulvaney has created a character, much like many performers do, and get plastic surgery to do so, to look a certain way, to fill a role. Madonna gets plastic surgery, no one bats an eye. Dylan Mulvaney gets plastic surgery, and everyone says that proves that Dylan's trans. I don't think so. If you look at Dylan Mulvaney's TikTok earliest videos, you'll see animal content. You see discussing Broadway content. Then you see non-binary content, and then it becomes days of girlhood transgender. I think simply put, you see this with many people. Mr. Beast used to make Minecraft videos. And then one day he made a video about giving money to people. And all of a sudden, everything he does is about giving money away and doing things like that. I've always done news. You know, I had a skate. I had a skateboarding channel. We're still going to launch a skate show, but I've always been into politics and commentary. And that's what I do. But you look at people's content and you can see how they're shaped by the algorithms. Some are more extreme than others. For me, I've actually gone back and forth with some Trump, you know, Trump supporters that love me now. They don't like me because I just I do my thing. You know, if I lose viewers, I lose viewers. It is what it is. We had a a drop off in January because, you know, it is what it is. But now we're seeing Bud Light decide that Dylan Mulvaney should uh, be the face of their beer, even painting Dylan's face on a beer can. That's amazing. Look, I don't drink alcohol. We have some fancy booze here in the studio for some guests who do. But I don't drink that garbage. Uh, I don't I don't drink booze. I don't smoke. I don't got tattoos. I don't got piercings. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't know. Just not never really cared or understood the point or why I would want to do something like that. I drank a bit when I was like 20. Uh, don't really drink. Haven't really had a drink since. I'm not like a teetotaler. Um, you know, I'll have a beer periodically, maybe wine with dinner. I don't mind alcohol, but I just don't see any point in ingesting things that for one, don't taste good. And two are just damaging your body. So perhaps Bud Light is the beer for you. Now, here's what I'm saying. Growing up, I don't know anyone, anyone who buys Bud Light, except for people who are just trying to get drunk. You know, I go, with my, I go out with my friends to dinner, right? And, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. Comment. You let me know. I go, to a, I, go, I go out to eat. Nobody at a restaurant, nobody at the bar is being like, yo, bartender, get me a Bud Light. They're going, uh, you got Newcastle on draft. Uh, you got Yingling. Uh, you got Heineken. I'll take a bottle of Heineken. You got a Corona with lime. I don't know anybody who's like, oh, I have a Bud Light. Some people do. Of course they do. Bud Light is a huge brand. Typically, my experience with Bud Light is people who want cheap beer that's low calorie that will get them drunk because they're at a sporting event or they're at a college party. College parties, man. Natty Light, Coors, whatever the cheapest stuff you can get is because they don't care about enjoying a beer. They care about getting wasted. So here's my question. Why, Bud Light? Who told you this was a good idea? Do you think people at sporting events are going to look at this and be like, this is what I would like to buy? Dylan Mulvaney is, in my opinion, an evil, narcissistic sociopath whose only intentions are to get as much eyeballs as possible. And just I th- look, you know, you look at this, this promotional thing they did with Dylan Mulvaney in the bathtub, twitching and going, look, you can see it right here, just going back and forth and just shaking. And I'm like, Dylan Mulvaney is unwell. I wish all trans people the happiness, best of life they could have. Dylan Mulvaney is not that. Dylan Mulvaney goes hiking in the woods in high heels, is an, in, intending to characterize and mock. And it's no different, in my opinion, than blackface. 
And, and it's funny they don't care. It's basically blackface, but for trans people. I don't know of any, except for Dylan Mulvaney, trans person, who frolics through the forest in high heels, because that is an impractical thing to do. Aha. That's right. It's a performance. People are going to say, it's a joke. It's a bit. It's a performance. Yes, you are correct. But would Dylan Mulvaney be doing a performance as a clown caricature of trans people if Dylan Mulvaney was just, was not trans? Dylan Mulvaney, if Dylan was trans, would not be making videos singing about having a bulge sticking out for everyone to see his junk. And I say his because I do not believe Dylan Mulvaney is, is actually transgender. I think Dylan is getting plastic surgery to fit a role and, and taking hormones to fit a role because it makes money. You know, people might be like, why would a person? No one would do that. Madonna just did it. She got heavily criticized for doing it. Are you kidding? Robert Downey Jr. made fun of the concept in Tropic Thunder as a German actor who gets melanin injections to become black, to play a role or something like that. It is a known trope that people desperate to be seen on camera physically alter their bodies in strange ways. They do it. Why would Dylan Mulvaney be any different? John Cardillo says, who the hell at Bud Light thought it was a good idea to make a grown man who just like little girls their new spokesperson? Brands have to stop listening to their woke creative teams and get in touch with their consumer demographics. Maybe that's what they did. Maybe the people at Bud Light are like the people who drink our beer, our young, dumb college kids who just want to get drunk. That's who we're going to target. Granted, I don't know why having Dylan Mulvaney do this is going to do anything for Bud Light, to be completely honest. But for, for one, Bud Light doesn't need this kind of brand ambassadorship. And all this can do is potentially hurt their brand when it comes to like sporting events and stuff. Here we go. Robbie Starbucks says, Message to conservative families from Bud Light seems to be, we will encourage and even celebrate the erasure of men and women along with all the values you care about. They've gone totally woke. Will you ever spend your money with them now? Yes, they will. Dude, come on. The average person, even conservatives, don't care to lift a finger. That's just reality, man. They're like, people are going to go protest in New York about Donald Trump because they're going to, you know, yeah, they're going to protest against him. In New York, they are, you're not going to see protesters come out for Trump. Maybe some. Obviously, we saw like, you know, a couple dozen or whatever. We're not going to see thousands of people marching through the streets like you would for some made up leftist nonsense. Stephen L. Miller says, might genuinely be the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. One, one Twitter just said, I love, loved Bud Light, but we'll be moving along to Coors. Go woke, go broke, good luck, Bud Light. It's get woke, go broke. You see, you say, I am a stickler for this, <clears throat> and I will reject this. It has always been get woke, go broke, not go woke, go broke. But at some point, someone changed it. I think what happened was Fox News called it go woke, go broke, and then everyone started saying that instead. Well, I will never let it go. It is get woke, go broke, as far as I'm concerned. Get, not go. There was plenty of praise for Mulvaney with supporters of the transgender community saying the partnership between the two pro promoted diversity and inclusivity. Oh, really? Oh, I love the direction Bud Light is going. Fine, whatever. I don't know. Listen, Bud Light's not a dude beer. Dudes don't care about Bud Light. Bud Light is for women who are like, I want to drink a beer, but I don't want to get fat. And it's for college students who are like, I don't know. Is there alcohol in it? If you're some dude who wants a hearty beer, you want old English or something, you're buying that. You're not going out to drink with the buddies and you're being like, throw me a Bud Light. You'll probably just get regular old Budweiser or Miller or something. Just regular beer. Bud Light is supposed to be the low calorie piss water that people drink when they don't want when they want to get drunk, but they don't want to gain weight. There it is. So this is what they're targeting. And maybe they're targeting women. They know women are going to be all about this. Women love whatever this is, I guess. I don't know. 70, 78 percent of women Millennial women vote Democrat, so they're cheering for this. Drew Barrymore dropped to her knees. <laughs> I love that. All a man has to do is put on makeup and then say they're a woman, and women will get on their knees and cry. Sure, whatever, man. I mean, if women think that their rightful place, like Drew Barrymore, is to drop on their knees for someone like Dylan Mulvaney, then I got no beef. 
Yeah, I'm going to be over here, though. I'm going to do my thing. You do your thing. I got, you can do whatever you want. Good for you, Bud, Bud Light. I got to tell you, I don't drink your beer anyway. I don't drink beer anyway. And uh, if it ever comes up and we're having a party, I won't be buying it from you. Next segment's coming up in a few minutes. Stick around and I'll see you all shortly.